So if I go ahead and pretty much just select and then now, and you can see that this is my current timestamp right here. So for you it will be different. But now let's say that we want to subtract one year from now. So to do that, we can say select and then minus so we can subtract and then you simply have to say interval. So this is a special keyword. And then within single quotes, you can say what you want to subtract. So you can say one in a year. If I end that with semicolon, you can see that now we're going back to 2017. I can even go ahead and say take 10 years. So 10 year or years. And you can see that I'm going back to 2008. And this was about, you know, um, you know, recession. So recession time. So basically financial crisis time. Uh, but yeah, so you can also uh, say, let's say months. So you can take away months, right? So I'm going 10, 10 months back. So we're going back to February. You can also go ahead and say 10 and then days, right? So day or days, they both work. So I'm just taking away, but you can also add. So I can go ahead and add if I clear the screen so you can see it properly. So now plus and then interval 10 days. You can see right there. So if I go and say 10 and then months, we should go to 2019 right here. And this is useful sometimes when you want to perform addition and subtraction with dates. So I've selected now, but you can also cast this to a date. So date right there. And basically you can simply get the actual date. So what you have to bear in mind is that the whole thing. So this whole function right here returns timestamp. So if you simply want the actual date and you can see that right here, I've got the hour, minute and second, you simply have to wrap everything and then cast it. So date here. And if I go back, so I can remove this casting and then cast the entire statement. If I press enter, now you can see that we simply get in the actual date. So this is all for this video. If you have any questions on adding and subtracting dates, go ahead and drop me a message. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. See ya.